Welcome to lesson six. And now we're going to talk about political parties and interest groups. Instead of a film to start off, I'm going to recommend a TV series. Now this was produced by Netflix and it's one of their most famous productions. So it should be easy to find on Netflix all around the world, basically. The name of the series is House of Cards. In particular, the first season shows the work of Congress as well as political parties in some degree of detail. The main character is in a position known as the whip. Now this job is specifically with the party, not the government, right? So the job of the whip is to know how the members of the party that are in Congress plan to vote for a certain bill. Now that's an interesting job title, right? Whip? Another part of the job is to try and convince individual representatives to vote how the party wants them to vote. This highlights a couple things about parties in the US system. Number one, they're inherently much weaker than in a parliamentary system typical of European democracies. And two, a member of Congress is not really beholden to their party. They're free to vote however they want. This is also in contrast to a parliamentary system where citizens vote for a party rather than the name of the individual. Now, moving on to interest groups, I've already got a good one for you. It's one you've probably already seen. It's called Iron Man, starring Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> How does Tony Stark have access to all this advanced technology? I mean, what's his job? What does he do? Well, he's a military contractor. He's not part of the military himself, but his company deals with this military technology, and much of it is secret and very advanced, obviously. This makes lobbying an important part of his job, and this is how he has a close relationship with various military officials and even politicians in the film. Thank You for Smoking is a smaller film that is definitely a more accurate picture of the day-to-day -day work of what a lobbyist does. It's a fascinating character study of what life would be like for a lobbyist trying to raise a family while making money participating in a business of questionable ethics. Thanks for watching this on political parties and interest groups. Once you've seen one or two episodes of House of Cards and then Iron Man and maybe Thank You for Smoking, come back and watch the next video on campaigns and elections.